So y'all wanna know the tea <laughs> about your girl Toyonce. Mm. Should I let y'all sip it? <laughs> What up, my TB? Not at all. That don't work. Let's try it again. What's up, my TB? I don't like that either. <laughs> what up? Okay, we just gonna say what up. It's your girl, Toyonce. It's me. And I'm back with another video. Yes, I is. But. Before we go any further, y'all already know what to do. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, I don't understand. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Like, why haven't you touched that subscribe button yet? Like, it's right there. Just hit it for me. Be a part of the TB. Have? Is it a hat? Yeah, that. Yeah, look. I'm going to get it together, but subscribe. Okay, I believe that you did it. Anyway, you guys, so I am back with another Q&A video. Um, um, I didn't get a lot of questions, I guess, because I'm just like an open book, and I have already did this video before. So, I thought y'all was just going to be, like, trying to get a little tea and all of that. But y'all was cool. Y'all kept it cool. So, I'm just going to go in the order. Like, people left questions on my community post. So, I'm just going to go in order. And I'm going to answer all these questions. The list is repetitive. But here we go. First question. From, am I supposed to say who it's from? Well, you hear your question, you know it was from you. Mm hmm mm hmm okay. How did you get so many views and subs? First question. And second question, why are you in general a very passionate and up-tempo YouTuber? Let's answer the first part. How did I get so many views and subs? I don't know. Like, no. Nah. I worked hard, like... I worked hard, then I got to networking and just being showing genuine love to other YouTubers. And, you know, once you find those other YouTubers that's willing to support you and you're supporting them and you build this bond, this relationship and your videos and your name start getting out there and you sharing it on all platforms on social media whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, you know, you just got to put yourself out there. So that's what I did. I put myself out there. I was really in these YouTube streets, okay? And, um, you know, and I found some lovely people. They're like my besties or whatever. And we support each other. And I just think that goes along with showing genuine love to other people because you can't ex ex Expect people to support you if you don't support others and just be genuine you know it's not even people out there who support me that are also youtubers I have um other people that support me that's not youtubers but I'm just you know I I do it for the people you tell me what you want and I get you Second question, why are you in a gen why are you in general a very passionate and simple YouTuber? I'm passionate about anything I do that I want to do. Like if I put my set my mind to something and I know I want to do it, then I'm gonna be very passionate about it. I'm not gonna have I'm about to say half ass it. I mean I just said it right. Oops, sorry. Um, I'm not going to, you know, do it a little bit. I'm going to do it all the way. I'm going to go hard. And YouTube is something I want to be successful, so I'm going to go hard in the paint, you know, and be passionate about this thing, you know. Eh, eh. <laughs> and I'm up tempo because I'm just goofy. Like, I like to make people laugh. I don't like to be all down and depressed. It's, you know, you got to be lagged. You got to be lit for people to want to watch you. You can't be like, oh, my God. Thank you for coming to my channel. 
would you guys please subscribe? Who wants to watch that? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Moving on. Next question. Do you like braids or laces better? Laces. Um, I like any weave, like hair, straight hair, curly hair, little bob. Braids is something I put in my hair when I just like over it for a second. Like I don't feel like, cause don't nobody do my hair but me. Even the braids, all that is done by me. So braids, I don't keep a lot because I do them myself and that takes a lot of time. But I do them if I just like overdoing my hair for a moment. <sighs> Next question. You a vegetarian, right? <laughs> The last honey. What made you what made you make that choice and how long has it been? So that second part is like, you know, irrelevant because no, I am not a vegetarian. Although I don't eat a lot of different meats. I don't eat pork and beef and all that. I can't eat seafood. That's not really meat, is it? Is it? No. I don't think so. Is it? Whatever. I can't eat none of that. I'm a chicken girl. Chicken, 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 and ground turkey. But I did go like two, three weeks without eating meat, and it wasn't that bad because. But then when you don't eat meat, you're eating a lot of carbs because you're just filling up on other stuff other than meat. But no, I'm not a vegetarian. Lord Jesus, I need my chicken in my life. Where would you like to travel to? I want to travel everywhere. Like, I just want to be able to not work a nine to five, be my own boss, and travel everywhere in the world. Like, but I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Petty. I just want to go to the Virgin Islands. I want to go everywhere. Like, literally, just let my hair down and just travel. Travel locally, overseas, cross the seas, can't. Anywhere, it don't matter. I want to go. Um, what's your goal for 2019? Do you have any siblings? My goal for 2019 is just to be successful. I have so many things that I want to start up clothing lines. Uh, me and my fave was talking about some other stuff, like um, going from like she's so creative and we want to get that business off the ground. Like, she can turn stuff that looks raggedy into this most beautiful stuff it look like it's worth a million dollars and she probably used to pay five dollars to do it but that type of stuff i want to work for myself i don't want to work a nine to five i don't want to clock in for nobody i want to work for myself so by the end of this year i'm going to be working for myself i thought about starting my own hairline or selling lashes something not clocking in at nobody's job that's my goal do i have any siblings i have several siblings I have a brother that y'all see all the time, Maurice. I have my baby sister, Shana, that you guys see. Um, those are the siblings. Yeah, those are my siblings. I'm not gonna. Yeah, there you go. T, honey, T. Mm -mm. What do you love most about YouTube? I love meeting new people. People that I meet in lives, people that comment on my videos, people just just people. Like so many people all over the world in different places. You'd be surprised. Like people, I'm in England. You where talking to me? Like I love meeting new people, like, and building relationships and just seeing a different creative side of people. And it's like, I don't know, people in general, just meeting people in general. And being able for me to put, you know, myself out there and be an inspiration to others. Do you have a skincare routine? No, I do not. I wash my face with plain water, and uh, but I want one. I've been looking for one that my skin is super sensitive. I have eczema, so I try not to put a lot of stuff on my skin. I have to be very weary even on the body wash I use. So, yeah. So, favorite song, ATM. Let me tell you, I was slow. I'm like, favorite song, ATM. Then I'm like, favorite song, ATM. 
at the moment. I think that's what it means. I hope that's what it means. And my favorite song at the moment, I don't know. I don't have a favorite song because I'm always listening to music. I'm always singing. Of course, anything Beyonce. If I had to pick a song, favorite song at the moment. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have one. I'm rocking. I'm listening to everything. When I want to be ratchet and turn up, I'm listening to Cordy. When I think I'm in here singing like I'm on American Idol or The Voice, I'm listening to B or Kelly Clarkson. If I'm in my mode and I'm just listening to music, whether I'm cleaning up or just walking around the house, I'm listening to her, Ella Mae, uh, Backstreet Boys, Don't Judge Me, In Sync. <laughs> Like today at work, I was listening to a 90s, oh uh, no, the 2000 pop music. Like, I listen to all genres of music and I'm always singing. So, yeah. How can you make a post on YouTube? I want to think you're referring to a community post. And you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. And then they are sending you an email saying, oh, now your community post is activated. Um... Am I in a relationship? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm so single. I'm so single. And it gets to me sometimes. But I probably could be in a relationship, but my... I have an attitude problem, and people get on my nerves really quick. But no, I'm not in a relationship. I am looking, though. <laughs> you doing <laughs> um favorite color is purple royalty what's your best moment hmm what is my best moment great question best moment best moment Um, I guess the best moment would be the birth of all my nieces and nephews. Like, I mean, I have some great moments in my life, but the best moments will be the birth of my nieces and nephews. Definitely. Um, high school advice. Whoa, I've been out of high school so long. These kids are so different these days. Um they so rude and disrespectful i don't even like high school kids no i'm just playing um high school advice i was in high school i wasn't popular and i wasn't like not popular i don't know how you say that um, i was in the middle like i mingled with the popular kids i was with the not so popular kids um i stayed to myself i was friendly i didn't i, I didn't join cliques um yeah i mean you get your your circle your people that you with but i was trying to get up out of high school okay i stayed focused did my work went home youtube tips youtube tips <sighs> be humble and genuine like don't let this stuff go to your head and don't let it get to you. Like, don't compare yourself to other people that's moving fast or maybe moving quicker than you. Y'all may have started at the same time and you look up and they have more subscribers than you or views or whatever the case may be. And don't compare yourself to nobody else because when it's your time, it's your time. Also, remain humble. So when you do get these subscribers and your subscriber count going up and you in the thousands, the two thousand, three thousand, four, whatever and you let it get to your head and you start feeling yourself don't do that remain humble because remember you was just down and out or you was just at a hundred subscribers so don't treat nobody different from the subscribers that they get because you just don't never know like a lot of people out here networking and they doing lives a lot of people not comfortable with lives even though we are on camera we making videos or whatever but it's just a different vibe in lives so a lot of people don't do that and a lot of people get their subscribers from lives um 
or just by networking just like you to go at your own pace do what you can i will say be consistent consistency is key be you genuinely you do not fake it don't try to be like nobody else or like nobody else's channel whatever content you feel comfortable with putting out you put that content out it may not be for some but it's for somebody everything about your page won't be for everybody like just continue to be you and genuine and everything else will follow if you date someone where they have to make money I'm <laughs> I mean I would want the person I date to have ambition and goals like if they just down and out at a point in their life but I see them trying and something happened then okay I can understand that but if you're just lazy you don't have no ambition you don't have no goal you're not trying to make no money or whatever then no I can't get with you but I have been with people who was just down and out they wasn't when I was, you know, met them. But as we were talking, they got down and out. But I'm just like, you know, you have to, sometimes you have to hold people up. If they already down, they can't go nowhere but up. And that's, but if that's, if they're trying to get up or whatever. So I would want them to make money, but it's not always about that. What do I do? I work for a healthcare tech company. I'm a network operations specialist. So I just troubleshoot devices all day that's like at hospitals and stuff not interesting at all where was i born i was born in chicago illinois boring no <laughs> nikki or cardi cardi i used to be a nikki fan cold-blooded nikki fan and somewhere around i don't know she kind of fell off and then cardi came busting out the seams and now i'm all about cardi um, favorite color, I already answered that. Would you rather a movie date or a Netflix and chill? Eh, um, depends. <laughs> I'll do both. We're going to movie date, we can Netflix and chill. Feel, I guess the Netflix and chill is more about my comfortability with you. Like, so if I just want to cuddle, I'm like, oh my god, it's Netflix and chill. And really Netflix and chill, then that's cool. And a movie date is always fun. Especially now the movies you can buy drinks and food. Yeah, so either one is fine with me. And I think that was the last question, you guys. Some of these questions was a little interesting. Okay. Well, you guys, that's all for that. Um if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Yes, I asked for y'all to subscribe again, okay? I'm going to keep doing that, okay? Share this video. Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your godmama, your aunties, your fake cousins, your fake friends, your haters. Tell them all, okay? Leave comments below. If you have more questions, I may do another video or I might just answer them in the comments. And, um... I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.